Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, today is May 14th of 2020. We're still reviewing Unit 7. Um, we're going to finish it today and then start uh, reviewing Unit 8. So, um, in our last video, we were talking about countable and non-countable nouns. And then we uh, reviewed about making questions, um, especially with how many and how much, right? So how many is for countable nouns and how much, it are, how much uh, is for the non-countable nouns. And then, so um, there, uh, another, um, I, I believe, uh, phrases or, uh, that we need to learn or review. And uh, we learned that, where we, learn, we learned about there is and there are. So we are able to use there is and there are to make statements and questions. Questions, um, just, just simple yes or no questions. So we're going to review that. And then um, for part two of the video, uh, oh, sorry. So for the part one, this is part one of the video today. Uh, for the part one, we will finish uh, reviewing unit seven, but for the part two, we're gonna go over some exercises um, of what we review so far. And then um, for the part three, we're gonna begin with uh, uh, reviewing unit eight. Okay, so let's go back to this. So there is and there are. So in order, in order for us to make our statements, um, we have there is blank, there are, here, here I put quantifier, remember quantifier we use to express certain amount. So it could be numbers, a specific number, it could be three, four, five, or we could say a few, a several, uh, many, and uh, a lot of, and, and etc. So uh, what, is, and then we use that, uh, we use these two phrases for count and non-count nouns right now. So the rule is that when we're doing, uh, we can use there is for count and non-count nouns, while there are, we use there are for plural count nouns, plural. So, and then I have a few examples down here. So, for a count now, we're gonna use apple, uh, and for noun count, we're gonna use uh, milk. So here, here we have to say there is blank for count and noun count now. So I'm gonna go count first. There is an apple, an apple. And if you remember um, about vowels, we have to be very careful about vowels. So usually if we have one, one um, item or one thing, we say A, but we have to take account of the vowel of the word. So here, vowel includes uh, A, E, I, O, U. So apple start with, starts with letter A. So the vowel A, so we, then we need to include, we need to say on for a single. So there is an apple. And then we can use there is for non-count nouns as well. So here we have, there is milk in the fridge. There is milk in the fridge. For there are, um, with a quantifier, we can uh, have plural count nouns. So here, if, we, if a single, uh, the singular form of apple is apple, and then uh, plural will be, you need to add a letter S. So here we have there are quantifier here. I'm gonna use five. So there are five apples on the table. So this now this count now has to be in plural form. So more than one, right? But I did also talk about um, that uh, here it says plural count nouns, but actually we can also do uh, pl uh, uh, plural non-count nouns. 
So what does that mean? So when we're talking about non-count nouns, I said non-count nouns are something that we cannot count. We can't count them. So something that we can't count are include rice, uh, coffee, water, uh, what else? Cheese, milk. Uh, those are things that we can't count. But we can use a um, a word or phrase uh, called partitives. Partitives, uh, in order to make non-countable uh, nouns countable. So here, um, this is, uh, in, for this sentence here, there are three cartons of milk in the fridge. Carton is a partitive for milk. So milk is non-count noun, but we use this partitive to uh, to express a certain amount of milk and here uh, it's usually if it's a single it'll be carton there will be no s here but we're talking about three so we're, uh, there are three cartons of milk and then I specifically said uh, plural I mean count noun I mean uh, sorry non count nouns don't have a plural form but we are able to uh, uh, modify the partitive into a plural form. So if it was a single, if it was a singular form, it would be carton, C-A-R-T-O-N. So uh, a carton, so it can be uh, I'm going to use, so if it's one carton, uh, one carton, one single carton, then we can say there is one carton of milk in the fridge. But this case, we have three. So it means that we need to add a letter S. So this becomes uh, cartons, C-A-R-T-O-N-S. Uh, so there are three cartons of milk in the fridge. Yeah. So it's important to um, remember the singular and plural forms of uh, the noun itself. So, and then the partitives, right? Okay, now we're gonna, um, uh, so these are statements. Now we're gonna talk about uh, making questions with them. And the questions that we can make are yes or no question. So. Uh, the structure is very similar. So here we started there is, here we started there are. In a question form, we just flip it. So we have is there blank question mark, are there quantifier blank. Here I have an S, right? So this part needs to be O. Oh. And then here um, for the uh, plural count nouns, because it's plural, the count nouns has to be in plural form, okay? Um, uh, and then, uh, so yeah, so the, for the questions, we have is there blank and are there quantifier uh, blank, question mark? And then uh, whatever, uh, and I'm gonna go over the count and non-count nouns, but uh, whatever they are, this is a yes or no question. So it's gonna be yes, there is, yes, uh, there are for, uh, so the is is for, as you know, single, and the isn't is a negative form of single. So, okay, one more time. So, yes, there is, no, there isn't. If it's plural, yes, there are. And then if it's no, no, there aren't. A-R-E-N-T, uh, apostrophe. And then, so now I have a few examples down here, same thing. So for the question, um, is there an apple? Is there an apple? So it's the same rule applies to here for the question. So we use is there for um, count and non-count nouns when we're asking the question. So is there an apple? Same thing, we check the vowel, and here is A, so we have to use un. Is there any milk in the fridge? 
Um, in order to ask a question about count nouns, I mean non-count nouns, we have to use a quantifier. So we have to use the phrase any. Or it could be, is there um, some milk in the fridge or is there, but I think any is a, a best choice. Is there any milk in the fridge? And then with the, uh, so are there question is, um, is for the plural count nouns. So here we can see, are there, we will quantify any apples on the table. Are there any apples on the table? And then finally, um, we have a similar situation. Um, uh, the question can be also modified so that we can uh, kind of uh, use are there question format to uh, question about non-count nouns. So here we have the partitive same uh, cartons. So uh, and then this is plural right now because there are three cartons of milk. So are there three cartons of milk in the fridge? Are there three cartons of milk in the fridge? So we're going to use are there for plural count nouns and then for non-count nouns if we use the part partitives um, and then uh, in plural form then we're going to use are there not there is, I mean, is there. So one more time. So there is, there are, we're able to make a statement with this phrase and then we're make, able to make yes or no questions with it. And I, here I said, there is or is there for question uh, is for count and non-count nouns, both of them. But for there are and are there question, it's usually plural count nouns. But if but we are able to also use there are and are there uh, question if we use um, partitives for the non-count nouns. That's when we're able to use uh, are there. Uh, so here there are three cartons of milk in the fridge, and then here we form a question, are there three cartons of milk in the fridge? And this is what we can do. Uh, and then this is for uh, uh, there is and there are. And now we're going to also go over uh, some uh, about money, money, okay? Okay. So we're almost finished with uh, unit seven. So now let's just talk about money situation one more time. So uh, I think in the beginning, uh, I uh, we learned how to uh, read the price. So, uh, but this time we're talking uh, actual unit. Uh, we're gonna actually talk about uh, the money system. Uh, in uh, for in US so this symbol means cent right I hope everyone remembers that so here we have one cent five cents ten cents and 25 cents that's how you're supposed to read um, but so I wrote it here one cent five cents ten cents 25 cents but um, we can actually call them in a different way. And we can call one cent as a penny, a penny, a penny. Five cent is a nickel. Nickel. 10 cents, a dime. 25 cents is called a quarter. And then uh, so a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter. And then we have a uh, $1 bill here, a $1 bill, 
This is called a $5 bill. $10 is called a $10 bill. So this is important because um, when we're, uh, let's say at a grocery store, we're checking out and then we're paying cash, right? And then sometimes uh, there are times when I want my, um, I only have a $20 bill. No, sorry. I have only uh, a $10 bill, but I need, a, I need, uh, instead of one, one $10 bill, I need $10 bills, 10 $1 bills. So I'm going to ask the uh, a cashier to break it down for me or exchange it for me, right? So, uh, so here, um, this is like a exchange, uh, a way to, a way we can uh, exchange the uh, amount of one dollar bill to different um, cents. So, one dollar bill is equal to four quarters. So I can ask for, hey, can you um, change my one dollar bill to four quarters? So four quarters. And then what if you need dime? Then we need ten dimes. So ten dimes are. Um, are going to equal to one dollar bill 20 nickels 20 nickels is equal to one dollar bill and then two quarters and five dimes this is also equal to one dollar bill so two quarters so i mean 50 uh, 20, they're 225 cents uh, which is equal to 50 cents and then five dimes so five of ten ten uh uh, 10 cents that means also 50 cents. So when you add them you have one dollar bill Yeah, so these are uh, words that you should know um, when you're talking to someone at uh, when you're exchanging um, some kind of money, right and uh, Yeah So so far so in unit 7 one more time we talked about uh, mm, Grocery store, which is kind of uh, which is same thing as supermarket, and then we talked about uh, some things that we see in the uh, store. So we see a uh, section, an aisle, uh, a cashier, a stock clerk, um, shopping cart, you know, fruits, vegetables, meat, dairy. Uh, General general merchandise item household item personal item And then we are able to uh, differentiate between countable and non countable nouns and then uh, And then we learn how uh, Countable nouns has a uh, different uh, singular and plural form and it could be sometimes uh, a regular situation where if you have a singular uh, word you can just add the letter s then becomes plural, right? When there are irregular um, cases where, for example, if you remember the word broccoli, the singular form of broccoli and plural form of broccoli, they're the same. So singular form is broccoli and plural form is also broccoli. So that is an irregular uh, plural form. So there are uh, Specific rules for uh, different uh, for different words. I hope you remember that. And then for in order to ask questions, we uh, came up with how many and how much. So as a little time, how many is for countable and how much is for non-countable. But for non-countable nouns, we actually can count non-countable nouns using a phrase called partitives so uh, for milk it would be a carton for bread it would be a loaf uh, for rice it would be a bag for uh, water it would be a bottle some kind of container uh, we can use to uh, express an amount of something or quantity and then uh, we also learned about uh, just now there is and there are we are able to make statements and then make questions with it. And finally, since we're talking about uh, uh, 
grocery store shopping. We also have to know how our money can be uh, can be uh, uh, divided into, right? So we have uh, we have coins, coin system here. These are coins that we have, and this is a paper bill. So it's, we have a, a penny, we have a nickel, a dime, and a quarter. While we have a, like a, a dollar bill, a one dollar bill, a five dollar bill, a ten dollar bill. But we don't have a thing called a seven dollar bill, okay? That's not in our system. But we can make a seven dollars by having one five dollar bill and two one dollar bills. So, yeah, um, that's it for part one. Um, and in part two, we're going to do some exercises related to um, unit seven. Okay, thanks for watching.